Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Pauline Hong. I'm a naturopathic doctor who practices at Simplicity Health Associates. Today, I'm going to talk to you about different ways that we can optimize and improve the gut microbiome. In my previous video, I talked about how dysfunction in the gut microbiome can lead to conditions like acne. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about different foods, supplements, and herbs that you can take to optimize the gut microbiome. Starting off with food. So the two food groups that I wanna stress on today's video are prebiotics and probiotics. Prebiotics are foods that feed the different organisms in the gut so that they have energy to produce what they need to produce to keep our immune system robust and resilient. So prebiotic foods think fiber rich foods, foods like onions, garlic, artichoke, um, chia seeds, et cetera, and et cetera. Um, probiotics, we're thinking about um, the actual organisms. We're, at a, we're adding extra organisms or bacteria into the gut microbiome. Sometimes um, when we lead a stressful lifestyle or we're not eating a balanced diet, um, the number of bacteria in our gut are actually lacking. So adding a probiotic can be very beneficial in helping to repopulate the gut with good bacteria so that they can produce those beneficial byproducts to help make your immune system robust and resilient. So moving on to herbs, I think that there are two herbs that I really like, um, and they, they don't necessarily pertain directly to the gut microbiome, but it pertains to the overall functioning of the gut. So first one is slippery elm. Slippery elm is a mucilaginous herb, and it helps to kind of coat the gut um, lining. It helps coat the stomach if you have uh, gastro um, like GERD, a uh, condition like GERD. Um, but it's really good at like calming inflammation down and adding that extra soothing layer if there is inflammation. So in, in the more broader perspective, calming down inflammation is one way to help maintain a healthy, balanced gut microbiome. The second herb is turmeric. So turmeric, um, we all know it as a spice. It's the orange spice that stains everything. Um, turmeric is a really powerful herb at helping detox the liver. Um, and when the liver is functioning well with the gut microbiome being balanced, then we have, um, you know, our hormonal processing and metabolism all work smoothly. And, you know, overall the immune system is able to function a little bit more efficiently. You know, it's, it just leads to lower levels of inflammation in the body. The third category is supplements. So when we're thinking about having a healthy gut, we want to make sure that there is no, in a broad term, leaky gut. So one supplement that I really like to use is L-glutamine. And the dosage varies for individuals. Um, if you're having more leaky gut symptoms, we want to dose higher. And if you're having, you know, lesser symptoms, then we want to dose lower. Um, another, you know, thing that we can also um, for maintain a healthy, balanced gut microbiome is probiotics, you know, actually adding in the good bacteria into your gut so that overall your there's harmony in the gut between the different organisms. Um, and the last vitamin, I would say one of my favorite vitamins, vitamin D, um, you know, overall is very important in immune system functioning. However, in the colder and darker months, we know that we don't get a lot of sun, especially everybody in the Northern hemisphere. And so when you supplement that, it just helps to give that extra boost to your immune system. But it's also, um, micronutrient that the, the organisms, the bacteria love to eat. And when they get that vitamin, they are in turn able to produce their byproducts to help us maintain a balanced, robust, resilient immune system. Um, if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, I would love to hear them below.